So it's that time back to school and this is lovely Kaya. This is her senior year. She is finished after this year and then on for great things. But I did a very natural look on her. So I just want you all to follow along and let's begin. So as you can tell, she has very nice skin, so we don't want to do anything too heavy. The heaviest thing we're going to do is contouring, but we're going to first start is with the e.l.f. Mist and Set. Now, I like to kind of brush out the eyebrows, and eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So I'm just going in with the Zoeva Angle Brush and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate Pomade, Brow Pomade, and just kind of brush it through the brows. Um... One of her brows were a little more structured, one was a little more uh, sparse hair, but it was okay. I go in with a MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just a 242 brush or a 252 brush, I'm sorry, and just make sure that everything's nice and filled. And very simply going in with the two browns in the Anastasia Modern Rena Renaissance Palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and a 224 fluffy brush from MAC. Any type of fluffy brush will do, just kind of brushing it kind of all over the eye not really under the eyebrow but just a nice brown color if you don't have a big eye like in a big space like Kaya does then you can just kind of put it just in your crease now I'm going in with a 217 firmer brush from Mac and just going in with the redder like pinkier colors in the palette and just going in the lash line in the outer corner very very simple look but I just needed something not as fluffy as the 2-4 uh, two, brush from MAC. So now I'm going in with my finger and I'm going in with MAC Cushy Shadow. It's like a cushy type of a shadow, and it's really easy to put it on with your finger. It has kind of a shimmer to it. It is very creamy. It kind of reminds you of ColourPop eyeshadows, um, except for you get more product. And just kind of put that all over the eye. Then I'm going in with a Real Technique small brush um, that I got off of eBay or Amazon. No, Alpha Amazon. I got four in the collection it's the core collection brushes and this was the smallest one and I'm just brushing the LA girl um, eyeliner to gel liner on the top and bottom I don't want a harsh line like with a gel liner but this is a gel liner in a pencil form so I didn't want to use black track fluid line I'm going in with just any type of mascara and you can kind of stop there or you can add lashes I am going to add lashes and you could actually stop here and just do the eyes <laughs> I'm sorry this girl was just so funny we had such a good time so now optional is lashes I am popping some very natural hair lashes I have used the response for me lashes from um, the beauty supply and these were the number 117 very natural very clean pop that on yes you can stop there but of course I'm going to keep on going I'm going in with the light concealer palette from MAC Cosmetics just kind of cleaning up underneath the brow um, with an, the angled Zoeva brush I'm just kind of brushing it down with my finger she actually has a really nice natural arch she doesn't really arch her eyebrows so but a very nice natural clean um, arch now I'm going in with a Prep and Prime Correct MAC Peach Luster and just kind of correcting any kind of darkness in the face and I'm using the MAC 132 to just kind of smudge this right underneath the eye and you can stop here. In fact, this is how I wear my makeup a lot. I don't wear a foundation a lot of the days. I just do a peach corrector and you're good to go like Kaya is. But. For a second video, we're going to keep on going. I'm going in with MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It is a foundation, but I'm using it as a concealer because I don't want anything too thick because of the young skin. I'm going in with a Beauty Junkie sponge. Love these sponges. And it just really helps to blend the foundation. Now I'm going in with 50 and a little bit of mixture of NC45 and a e.l.f. brush. As you see, it was listed. 
and just really going in I'm really using a very small amount of foundation Now I'm going in with the most detailed part and you could definitely don't have to do this but this is the Black Up Cosmetics contour number four um, contour stick and a beauty junkie sponge and I'm just blending 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 I'm also going in with the elf stippling brush that I absolutely love I'm loving Elf's brushes they are oh my goodness they are awesome so I'm just going in and just really blending you could also just use a bronzer for this but for the sake of the video for the sake of pictures I am extra and I went in and did more then I'm going in with just like a uh, kabuki small kabuki type of a brush you can get them off of Sigma or beauty junkies or where have you and um, do this for the sides of the nose and of course blending everything out with the sponge So I'm going in with Peach Fizz from look from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Sorry, getting tongue tied. And the M501 brush, just to add just a little bit of glow on the top of the cheekbones. I love this liquid glow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I want all of them, but I just only got the Peach Fizz. I just love them. They are just so it's it's really beautiful and very soft, but just enough glow. Now I'm going in with my Black Up Cosmetics blush in 05 and my Real Techniques blush brush. Just brushing that nice peachy color onto the cheeks. Keeping it very natural, very simple. And Jen with the Dark Mineralized Powder from MAC Cosmetics just to kind of complete everything. Now I'm just going in with a nice brown lip liner pencil. You can get the NYX lip liner. I'm not sure which one that is. And this lip gloss, it's like a BB lip gloss. I'm not even sure. I think it was somewhere from Canada. But any type of pinky, peach, whatever you want to do. But this is the look. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I'll have a more detailed video with this one on how I did her contour. But of course, again, you can go very simple with just bronzers just to kind of add the warmth to the skin. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.